Welcome back everybody. Today we're doing another video about the NRA, the ongoings of it, and the problems that it has. Just to let you know, I am not doing this video to trash the NRA. I'm just doing it to let all of you know what is actually going on, what you can do, and let you guys make your own mind up. But before we get into the details of the video, I do want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is JX Tactical. They make a ton of different holsters, including holsters for rifles, which is very cool. Also, of course, outside the waistband holsters, inside the waistband holsters, and they also make their fat boy holster. Uh, so if you guys have a little girth around the middle, they definitely make something that can work with you. Of course, everything is made in America and they offer holsters for a number of different guns. You guys who watch the channel have probably seen me wearing this holster as well as many of their other holsters here on the channel. Now getting into this actual report here. So basically, all of this comes from a report sheet, a reports and earnings sheet from the NRA that was released in August. It was actually, uh, it's from August or updated to August, but it was actually released in early November. And uh, basically there is a lot that we can take from this. Uh, many of you guys know I do have a, you know, sort of an educational background in finance and you definitely don't need it to read this report. Anybody who's literate can read it, but for me, uh, it may be a little bit easier than others, but I will try to break it down for you guys Barney style. So. Looking at the actual report, one thing I want to get into before we actually talk about the report because it's crucial to the story is just their historical revenues over at the NRA. You guys should be able to see a graph that we're rolling in here. And I would say that the most relevant year to that is 2018, simply because it's kind of like pre-pandemic, if you will, and as close as we have to a normal year as we have today. And you guys can see that their revenue there was over $350 million. Now, what happened that year, or I guess the year after, is when all the news of Wayne LaPierre, his illegal activity, his excessive spending on homes, uh, trips, suits, cars, etc., all of those things came to light. And folks like myself, as well as other folks who run YouTube channels, started to report on what the NRA was actually doing, but more specifically, Wayne LaPierre himself. And as you can see from there, the actual revenue started to drop. And then we fast forward to this year and just kind of looking over some of these numbers. Again, this is up to August. So basically, if you take the numbers and multiply them by 1.5, that will give you a rough estimate as to what the 2022 numbers will be. And just looking at those, just for example, their membership revenue uh, right now, it's reported at 110 million. It's projected out to be 165 million. Of course, that can vary. Uh, as to what they actually report in December. Uh, their actual is going to be 79 million, projected out to 119 million. So there you can see a gigantic deficit, over $40 million in revenue versus what they expected versus what they're actually taking in. Additionally, I wanna point out their attorney's fees. So in the past, we've talked about Wayne LaPierre's attorney's fees and that they were spending thousands and thousands of dollars per hour, not for the NRA, mind you, but for Wayne LaPierre, personally and his personal attorney fees that are coming out of the NRA's fund. And basically right now, their attorney's fees are listed at $40 million so far for this year and projected to be $60 million for this year. Now, many of you may say, but that's, that's to fight the New York lawsuit that's going on, which is partially true. That, that absolutely is part of it without question. But again, the vast majority of that, even the lawsuit in New York, is defending Wayne LaPierre rather than the NRA itself. The NRA is part of it, of course, but a lot of the activity that Letitia James is accusing him of doing that is illegal is actually his doing rather than the NRA's doing. So it's important to keep that in mind. So, you know, at the end of the year, we look at total revenue uh, as of right now is roughly 184 million and the expenses are gonna be 223 million. Again, you can project that out forward. And just for some historical re reference as to what they're actually doing, obviously, because it's timely with this video, in 2016, in the elections, they spent $56 million on the elections. Obviously, that was a presidential year. I understand it's different. But in this year, they spent, in 2022, on you know the politics, getting people elected who support what the NRA is supposed to stand for, they only spent $10 million. Obviously, this was a highly contested election recently, but they decided that it was more important to spend literally four times that on their attorneys for William LaPierre and the NRA than getting political candidates elected who will actually support and defend the Second Amendment. So uh, one thing I want to point out, because I just think it's funny, is that uh, the NRA's public affairs officer released a statement to go along with this expense report. And he said the NRA's legal costs are an investment in the association and its fight for survival. 
That's sort of true. The second part is true. It definitely is an investment in its fight for survival, but only because William LaPierre will not resign. Um, obviously, we can go deep into it, but we won't. The NRA, their board, of, uh, their board rather, technically elects Wayne, and he was recently elected. Um, but we all know that that is a sham, and you guys can see my prior videos on that if you guys want to see the details on that. But the main point of me making this video, again, is not to dog on the NRA. I would love to see the NRA be successful. I would love to see them be a super uh, effective pro-gun rights group, pro-civil rights group, and be extremely effective at restoring the rights that we all should have in America. However, under the leadership of Wayne LaPierre, they absolutely are not that. They are essentially a group that exists to create money, generate revenues for themselves, enrich the top folks, and then basically just do just enough to still exist and still fundraise. Obviously, with the lawsuit that's going on in New York, they've had to pivot a lot of that money instead of the ILA and the typical things that they would do to promote the Second Amendment and start spending it on attorneys. They've also had a higher hiring freeze as well as a pension freeze from what I've read as well. So they're cutting costs, but again, they are still losing money quickly. I mean, depending on how you do the math, it's anywhere from one fifth to one sixth of their actual costs are deficit. So they're borrowing that money to continue operation. Obviously a charitable organization cannot go on like that in perpetuity. So what are they going to do going forward? Well, what I urge them to do is fire Wayne LaPierre. That will cost that will cut their costs significantly. It will also increase their revenue significantly because as you look at the graph here of the revenues, one of the biggest reasons that these revenues have dropped is because Wayne LaPierre is there and a lot of people who watch videos like this refuse to give their money to the NRA, myself included. My funds have been diverted from the NRA over the years to more pro-gun organizations like the Gun Owners of America, FPC, NAGR, et cetera, or local ones in the states that you may live in. And I think that will continue as long as Wayne is at the helm of the NRA. If you guys disagree, definitely let me know down below in the comments section. I'm definitely looking forward to reading your comments in these videos, but they are always fun. But that really is all I have for you guys. I wanted to let you guys know what is going on with the NRA. And if you are someone who is considering giving to the NRA, this is what you're giving to right now. Again, hopefully it changes. I want the NRA to be successful, but not with Wayne at the helm. It just can't happen. It can't happen in a good way, rather. It's probably the better way to say it, in a, a pro-Constitution way. It just can't happen. He's not the person for that job, and he has to go. With that, we'll close the video out. Thank you all for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, like I said, you can put them down below in the comment section. You can also put them over at my various social media sections that are here on your screen. If you like the video, unfortunately, we do a lot of NRA videos around here, so definitely hit that subscribe button. Additionally, if you are subscribed, you're not seeing two to four videos a week here on the channel, make sure you sign up for my email at the website here on your screen. And if you've done that and you're not seeing two to four videos a week, then you should see them in that email because it's uncensored. And additionally, if there are deals on lots of things, whether it be these types of things, uh, ammo, accessories, all of that, it goes out in my daily deals email and you can sign up for that at the website here on your screen. It goes out every day. If it's in that email, it's the cheapest that I know of anywhere on the internet. So that way I'll save you guys some time and hopefully save you some money as well because I've already done the price comparisons uh, for you. And I suppose we'll actually end it out because we're losing light and that helicopter sound is probably pretty annoying to you guys watching as it hovers overhead. All right, thanks y'all. See you in the next video.